20 US dollars a month on haircuts. Our total number of our living cost of two adult, one two-year-old kid, and two little dogs. The total number is... Welcome to our, our channel, channel, Life with Louie. We moved to Querétaro, Mexico from Houston, Texas in 2021 and have lived here ever since. Join us on our journey. Hey everybody, hey. welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we're going to be discussing a little bit about our yearly cost here in Mexico. You know, I know that's always a kind of a hot topic people like to know about. You know, how much does it really cost to live here? And we're really going to try to break it down into uh, the true cost. You know, sometimes people talk about uh, how inexpensive it is here and how little they spend. Uh, hopefully we can talk about some, a few other things that people may not mention. Uh, to kind of give you a really true sense of what it is to live here with a family, right? Um, you know, you know, with with a child, which is again a little bit different. So we're going to kind of break that down. I know Landy did a really good job of breaking <laughs> down everything, uh, very detail oriented. Uh -huh. um, so you know, just kind of let you know what we spend on average. Yeah, as a woman, arrange our monthly spending. I always have a budget. Always have a clue what our spending is. So let's get it started. <laughs> Housing is a big thing. Last year, when we just moved to Geledalo, we rented a house in the central. The lease, the rent is 800 US dollar a month. Last year, we bought a house. Now, this year, we have to pay the HOA, which is the housing maintenance for the outside the house neighborhood and outside neighborhood swimming pool it cost us 75 us dollar a month plus our electricity bill also raised up which is 50 dollar a month water gas which are 10 dollar each month and our house wi-fi cost us 20 dollar a month and of course you have a house now we have to pay all the house maintenance fixing things and we have some ants and uh, mosquitoes here, so we call it the pest control. Which it comes to every month, we pay $30 for the house maintenance and the pest control. And we still using the US cell phone for our business. So for the US phones, we pay $50 for our two phones. And the Mexico phones are cheaper, which is $10 a line. So we pay $20. So the total household, how much we pay for our house bills, it comes to $265 a month. Now, another thing that we spend money on and one of our big expenses is our car. Uh, luckily, we purchased our car and so we don't have that monthly payment. But on average with gas, we spend about maybe five, $600, excuse me, five, 600 pesos uh, a week and that comes out to oh maybe like $25 a week so maybe about $100 $150 US dollars a month um then we also have to take care of things like get an oil change and with the oil change that costs about 5000 pesos and that's every 3 months and actually I get every other one free and another thing we have to take into consideration is parking whenever we go to central or to malls uh we you got to pay you know to park so that costs about maybe 150 pesos a month. You know, but in some locations, you can actually get it the first couple hours free. You go to the mall, you get a couple hours free. So that's kind of what we spend on our vehicle. Something else I like to do is go to the gym, which is another thing we have to include. Uh, so for a lot of people who like to work out, you may want to consider this. Um, at the gym I go to around the corner, I pay about 4,600 pesos for the year, about, or about $230. That comes out to about $19 a month. And I do buy a few supplements, uh, which comes out to about 1,600 pesos uh, for every three months, which is about $28 a month. So total, we're looking at about $47 a month that I have to include into our expenses for going to the gym. Now we talk about the food and eating out. We go to grocery shopping once a week. So it costs us about 100 US dollar. And other time during the week, if we're short on drinks and milk, we go to our neighborhood grocery shop. So we spend a little bit, $20, $30. So let's say our whole month's grocery shopping includes some toilet paper, toothbrush, ETC. So it's about 
400 US dollar a month. Talking about eating out, we don't go out that much as before as we have a little one at home. So we cook at home a lot. So our eating out budget and the real reality is about $150 a month averagely. So the total cost of food, grocery, eating out, it comes to 550 US dollar a month. Now we talk about a kid. We have only one kid, his name is Louis. Louis' living cost includes his daycare, diaper wiper, and clothing toys. So his daycare is eight hours a day, Monday to Friday, costs $220 a month. And his wiper, diaper, those cream, that costs $50 a month. Plus his clothing, toys, books, that cost $50 a month. So the total cost of Louis is $320 a month. Speaking of Louis, another big expense that we have with any child is taking them to the doctor and ourselves included. And the one thing we like about Mexico is it's pretty uh, inexpensive, but you still get good quality. When we take Louis to the pediatrician, on average, we pay about seven to 800 uh, pesos per visit. Uh, so get about 35, $40 per visit. And during the first year, we took them a little bit more, of course, for his immunizations. Uh, and those cost about a thousand pesos for, per shot. Uh, and for ourselves, me and Landy, when we go to one of our doctors, again, for a good professional doctor, cost about 800 pesos per visit, so about $40, and very inexpensive. Another thing that I like here in Mexico is a lot of pharmacies have a medical, which is just a doctor that they have on staff, and you can take yourself, or for our case, we take Louis quite a bit when he gets sick, and they work on gratuity. I do believe they get paid by the pharmacy, but they also expect tips, and that could be 20, 50 pesos, 100 pesos, whatever you feel like giving. And they can, they'll look you over and they'll give you prescription if you need it. And with medicine, for us on average, we spend oh, maybe $15 a month uh, on medicine. So overall, quality health care at a much less price. Something else every family has to consider is entertainment. For us, we like to keep it pretty simple. We have our YouTube uh, premium account and Netflix, and that comes out to about 45 US dollars a month. And the other thing we do like to splurge on every now and then is going to get a massage. Uh, for us, every time we've gone, it's been anywhere between 400 and 600 pesos, which is between 20 and 30 US dollars. Um, and that's pretty much all we spend um, extra on. <laughs> so we also have our miscellaneous spending. Um, which includes clothing. Uh, now again with clothing, it kind of varies from month to month. You know, some will go months without spending and then a few will go splurge. Uh, but that comes out to roughly about $80 a month, you know, uh, you know, for the year. Another thing that we take into consideration is haircuts for ourselves and for our little friends here. <laughs> you know, for me, it costs maybe about 150 pesos uh, a month. And I go maybe once a month. Louie maybe every other month, you know, Landy, she might go every few months. She's actually trying to let her hair grow out. Um, so if you, again, if you average it out, we're looking at about maybe 20 US dollars a month on haircuts. And then we have the haircuts for our Chi and Bebe here. Uh, we take them maybe every two to three months to get groomed and trimmed. And for them, for both of them, it only costs about 500 pesos, which is actually a very good price. Um, what else? Yeah, and I... I have uh, my Spanish learning app, which costs about $7 a month. And unfortunately, we still have our furniture loan back in Texas, US. And we pay $120 a month. Um, and plus, we still have the credit card. So that cost us, averagely, I try to control it, at about $30 a month. So, every family has some yearly expense, but most people don't count to the monthly expense. Right. But it's still there. Like we bought the house, now the house tax costs us about 8,000 peso a year, which comes to over $400 a year, which is pretty good oh, price compared excellent. to the US. Excellent price. <laughs> Easily 4,000, 5,000 a year. And we have the car, so we have our car insurance, which is 8,000, 600 peso a year, which comes 
to 430 US dollar a year. Again, once again, not bad as compared to what I was paying in the US. <laughs> right. Then talk about our health insurance, medical, life insurance things. Um, as we didn't buy the international package, as we don't go back to US that often. So, and we don't like the public hospitals here and the line is super long as we know. Mm -hmm. So we just, uh, every time we go, we pay cash. Um, so our, we choose to buy the accident, which is the travel insurance in case right. something break bones or those things happen. So it cost us about 500 US dollar a year for us three, which is not bad. No, not bad. And another is the life insurance, um, which is the $110 a year. And for if we go back to Texas to visit family or we take care of our business back there, so we just buy the travel insurance for one week, two weeks. Right. So you can just buy online, which comes to about $100 a year as we don't go back that often. Right, maybe once, maybe <laughs> twice a year. So the total yearly cost is $15.65 a year, right. which is not bad. Not bad at all. And, and then the last thing that we'll talk about is our travel. You know, as you'll see throughout our channel, we like to take trips, some local, just day trips, hour, two hours away. Uh, but then we also do like to take our, obviously, our trips a little further away. Maybe we drive, maybe we fly, depending on what we want to do. Uh, but again, using kind of last year as a guide, uh, we spent maybe about 6,000 US dollars for all of our travel last year. Right, uh, includes we go back home for Christmas. And it right, does include, and a couple other trips, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, now it's time for our grand total for our monthly spending. Now, of course, you have to take into consideration that everybody's different. Some people have less kids, more kids, no kids, right? Um, so, you know, and again, it may travel less or more, all kinds of variables that you have to look into when coming up with your monthly cost. But for us, it's time for our total. Well, what do we come up with? So our total number of our living cost of two adults, one two-year-old kid, and two little dogs, the total number is 1755 US dollar a month. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> so we'd like to hear from you all. What do you spend on a monthly uh, basis? Is it back in the US? Is it here in Mexico? Another country? Uh, you know, we'd like to see whether other people are spending you know, on a month. I think a lot of people like to know. So drop a comment, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.